Today, I see among you multimillionaires, and I see among you upper class, middle class, upper middle class, and people who are simple farmers struggling to get some peanuts to grow out of the ground just for survival. I see people who have PhDs in engineering, in philosophy, and people who don't even know how to write or read, and everything in between. I see Brahmins. I see people who have, have no caste whatsoever. Males and females. I see old people and little children. I see rich people and poor people, so many types of people. But who's qualified to pluck these flowers? That's the really important question. Everyone, everyone could do it. I see people here who are some of the topmost accomplished yogis in the whole world who could perform practically any asana. They could put their feet or their head or their, or their knees on any other part of the body practically. <laughs> I also see here elderly ladies who can't even sit with can't even sit on the floor, can't even touch their feet, and never will for the rest of their lives. So where is the equality? Because each and every one of you is plucking the same flowers. This is bhakti. Patram pushpam palam toyam yomi bhakta prayajjati. We're all united. We're sitting together from the east, from the west, from the north, from the south, from everywhere. Sharing the same circles, plucking the same flowers. In this sense, we found a place where we could really appreciate what we all have in common. That we're plucking these flowers to offer to God and we're really appreciating each other in doing so.